working on all day the sudden resignation of Lieutenant Governor LeVon Heidemann. He stepped down less than 24 hours after news broke that his sister took out a restraining order against him. And the fallout of, from this family feud will have lasting implications for the November election. KATV News Watch is Jeremy Maskell, live with a still developing story. Jeremy? That is true, Rob. And the next battle in all of this could be over the ballot you used to vote in November. The Pete Ricketts campaign is trying to replace LeVon Heidemann's name with state auditor Mike Foley's. The new running mate announced this afternoon, but the Secretary of State's office told me this morning names are locked on the ballot last week unless a candidate dies. Now, this afternoon, it seems they're reconsidering that, and the state's Democratic Party chair says he's ready to fight. I love this state and am forever thankful for the people of this state who have faithfully supported me. I wish you well. LeVon Heidemann leaves office and a statewide campaign less than 24 hours after his sister won a protection order against the now former lieutenant governor. It's centered around a family dispute over land. Now the move is shifting our political landscape. As Pete Ricketts announces his new running mate, a former primary opponent, State Auditor Mike Foley. He's got a lot of depth of experience. You know, as I laid out, he has been a state senator. He's worked on pro life legislation. He's been state auditor. The two called each other longtime friends Tuesday, calling LeVon Heidemann one, too. LeVon's a friend and a very good man. And uh, my thoughts and my prayers go to LeVon and his family. The Ricketts campaign says it knew about the protection order hearing a couple weeks ago and hoped it would be resolved. Now they say they're focused on the race and replacing Heidemann's name with Foley's on the ballot. The Secretary of State is considering it, even though staff told me state statute locks in candidates on the ballot as of September 1st. There's no real reason except this artificial deadline why the voters shouldn't have information on the ballot of who the elected officials are ultimately going to be. Democrats say they'll fight it. And he puts Mike Foley on the ballot. And if somehow Pete Ricketts pulls the upset and wins in November, any voter can invalidate that election because that's a violation of law. John Gale's not the Supreme Court. John Gale is the Nebraska Secretary of State who says he could issue a decision about the ballot controversy tomorrow. Brandy, back to you. Thank you, Jeremy.